They're still here, and they're not going anywhere. Oh, we have our trouble! Reggie, please, the man! OB1 legs. That's right. What's up? All right. OB1 legs. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know, man. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on. We're hitting you with the bangers, bro. Bro. We have a couple of dope news items for this video, but the first one. The first one. We are reaching critical mass with the corona viruses this is our first major report from a major source that the PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X is going to be delayed due to the coronavirus every day it seems like something else is shutting down we're gonna get to something interesting as far as gaming is concerned later on but it's affecting everything bro um a lot of esports leagues are switching to instead of events, they're going online. Overwatch and Call of Duty, I know they announced their esport competitions are going to be online due to the virus. But let's talk about the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. This is coming from Forbes. Forbes is pretty well known, reputable um, source. They, this is their article. The much anticipated launches of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are likely to be, be delayed by the spread of COVID-19, the coronavirus, an analyst report projects. The disease, which the World Health Organization officially declared a pandemic on Wednesday, and the president just declared a national state of emergency in the U.S. That means we're going to be getting uh, FEMA and federal support in various states. Um, and so... The article continues, uh, sparking worse concern. The stock market has had its worst state since 1987. Video games are ultimately just one small part of the troubling global picture, but they are certain to be affected by the virus. Uh, DFC Intelligence recently released a statement and forecast for next-gen consoles, saying that it, it expects the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 to be delayed out of the current holiday 2020 launch. So this is coming from DFC Intelligence. <coughs> Citing widespread global uncertainty about the spread of the virus. And this is what they say. Coronavirus is likely to have a major short-term impact on the delivery of both systems. There is a strong likelihood one or both systems will not make a 2020 launch. If the systems do launch, supply will, will likely be constrained and initial pricing could be higher than expected. Wow. Uh, here comes a statement from Nico. Uh, all right, it says currently the economy is in up unprecedented state of uncertainty. Even if the situation clears up in a few weeks, the ability to manufacture and release high-end and new game systems has already been so. They're saying that production has already been impacted. Um, DFC Intelligence echoes a statement from Nico Partners senior analyst Daniel Ahmad. I follow him on Twitter. Pretty legit dude. Who recently said that. We, should, we could see either limited supply at launch or delay releases if the virus continues to affect manufacturing through 2020. The note continues to say that both machines are likely to be in strong demand once they're released and will likely experience the sort of sellouts that are common with console launches. The good news is that consumer demand is likely to be stronger than ever. Demand will far exceed supply and long term that could increase overall sales. In addition, the abundance of government and public caution should help assure that this is comparatively a short-term crisis. So they're saying that even though they're going to be delayed, um, it more than likely would just be in the short term. All right. Face making sure. All right. And so, interesting. According to this report, 
one or both consoles are going to be delayed and if they're not delayed they're saying supply chains will be severely limited i said this before some is this is already affecting production out of the two that will be delayed i think sony would delay more first before xbox sony just don't seem prepared bro they don't seem like they got everything something is wrong behind the scenes in playstation land i uh, mark my words there was already shakeups in the CEO, um, CEOs leaving, something is up with Sony. That's just them being so quiet. <coughs> One, they're probably quiet because it's the console is probably not as powerful as the Xbox Series X. But something else is going on. Do I want them to be delayed? Not really. I'm really right now. I'm going through a lot of my Xbox backlog, so I'm still be I'll still be gaming. But and games are still going to be coming out, new games. But I do want the consoles to launch on time. Hopefully there won't be anything. We haven't heard anything official yet from Microsoft or Sony concerning the production um, uh, or the, the launching of their consoles. And so um, I'm hoping that they still launch on time, um, but not looking good with everything else being delayed in the video game world. So you guys just stay safe. Don't go out touching high five and everybody nothing digital high fives bro elbow bumps i don't even say fist bumps they still touching people don't touch nobody bro stay away um so and what's also interesting about this report they're saying it could affect the pricing the pricing of the systems which is crazy um if the consoles end up launching at high but here's my thing even with the demand being the de it's gonna affect the supply chain even if they do launch on time it's gonna be less in and supply meaning dudes are gonna be selling xbox series x's online for a thousand dollars two thousand dollars dudes try to eh, someone's always gonna try to take advantage of the situation so it is what it is bro more gaming news a nintendo of america employee has tested positive for the coronavirus and so nintendo of america is probably on shutdown right now it's just what's going on right now man also bro it seems like every all of my news items are related to the coronavirus except for the last one nba 2k20 the nba has suspended its season but <coughs> the phoenix suns will play the remainder of its season in NBA 2K20 on Twitch. Um, the Western Conference team has announced plans to play out the remainder of their season using NBA 2K20. And so they're doing this while the season is um, um, temporarily suspended on Twitter, on Twitch. Um, on, it says, in a post on Twitter, the Suns revealed that it will be using NBA 2K20 to complete the team's schedule uh, with each game streaming live on Twitch. The first one takes place tomorrow, March 14th, with the Virtual Suns playing the Virtual Davis Mavericks. So, it's cool to see that they're doing this. Of course, this isn't going to count towards their official record or nothing official. I think they're doing this just to entertain fans and try to keep your mind off of... Look at this. Oh, I touched it uh, of the virus so um, I thought that was interesting and the last news item just letting you guys know bleeding edge Microsoft's exclusive uh, first party uh, team combat um, game the beta is out now so if you have Xbox um, see if you can sign up for the beta I know through game pass the game is going to be available on game pass at the end of the month but i'm super pumped for this game i'm going to be live streaming my first gameplay of bleeding edge right here on the channel in about an hour or so after this video who knows i might be live right now while you're watching this so watch after you're done with this video go to obi One plays homepage and see if i'm live bro we're playing that bleeding edge today if you're a sponsor um and you have bleeding edge uh, let's rock out together. Let's play. Let's play. Um, dope, dope, dope stuff. Game looks cool, man. Super cool. Like a third-person perspective, Overwatch. 
with melee and shooting, a combination of both. So, game looks lit. I'm definitely going to be playing it. I'm, I'm hyped for this game. Actually, hyped for this game. Bro, Microsoft is, was, it's been lit this month, bro, with Ori and Bleeding Edge, two um, pretty good first party exclusives to um, round out the month of March. And then next month, I'm going to be playing that Minecraft Dungeons, boy. Because it's not a traditional Minecraft game. It's a dungeon crawler. So that's going to be lit. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out. Bye. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at obi one plays and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.